Hey there guys, it's me Samantha from Mrs. Twins. Oh boy, maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. I have a camera, as you probably could tell in the last video. Um, and I'm going to be relearning how to use it, I think. So, for this I'm going to be doing an oldie but a goodie that I've never done because it intimidates me. And it is the Scribble Art Challenge. I think the reason I've never done this is because I'm not like good at scribbling and also I'm not super creative which is why I always draw fan art so I'm gonna try and do scribbly. I'm gonna use my thickest micron pen which hopefully still has like ink in it and then we'll see. I'll probably do like two or three. And I'm gonna try and do different scribbles because earlier I was trying to practice and I made like a Medusa thing and it was like it was okay but then I kept redrawing the same scribble. When I draw a scribble, my brain goes like, whoop, whoop. and that's like my scribble, and I turn that into the hair of Medusa. But I can't always make the same scribbles, so I'm just gonna try and like thrust my hand on the page, and we'll see how that goes. And then I'll probably draw the thing in a sped up time, because I know it'll take me a long time to think of it, because I don't, I'm very uncreative. Okay, so this one's gonna start here in the corner. See, it's the same thing, but it's on its side. It's the same as what I always do. I'm switching out my micron because that's almost dead, and that one doesn't count. We're moving on to a new scribble. This scribble didn't. This scribble didn't happen. What is happening? Where are my pens going? Hopefully, this will work well, but like this. I'm trying to limber up the the scribble juices. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a scribble, but it's definitely something interesting, so we'll go with that. And I'll, I'll swap out the Micron for a better one next time, because that one's a little nasty, but I may refine the scribble with another pen. And we'll see how that looks. <laughs> so I definitely had a bit of a tough time uh, deciding how to start this. My thought was it'll be someone like leaning down to pick up something. Uh, and the proportions are like really off and they don't have a neck. Okay, that's like the concept. And then I was like, what did they pick up? And I decided they would be picking up a small frog because I thought it would be cute and kind of funny. Um, so, sorry, it goes out of frame a lot, but it's like, the, the concept is like it's this, this child and they're leaning over and picking up a frog and the line is like the top of their arms. I think I'll do maybe two more because that one seemed like it went over pretty well. I think it's a I think it's a strong concept. Is it a good drawing? I don't know, but it is a strong concept. I think it's kinda of funny. <laughs> these are the yeah, these are gonna be messy. I hope you weren't expecting like beautiful art, because my brain trying to work around the scribble does not think of something beautiful. Okay, I don't wanna get in the way of the the child and frog, but uh, so I'll try to focus down here. It's kind of like a, a lopsided L, but we'll try and try and make something else out of it. Okay, then this one, I was like, I should keep going with the kid and frog theme because I thought it was really cute. This one's really out of frame, but I, I get it. So here's the kid again, and they're sitting like a frog, and so their leg is like the, the line, and then the frog in the middle, like the frog just taught them how to sit like a frog. They're like smiling, they look like they look like they're like twinning almost. And, and I gave the kids some hair here. This is actually incredibly enjoyable. I'm gonna do one more scribble, I think. And I'll try to make it small that we can fit down there. We'll do one more kid and frog, and then I think that will be enough. I'm gonna try and make it a small scribble, so. Kind of went a little wonky. I actually can see a concept for this, so let me doodle that and then, <laughs> then we'll be done. This one I had a really strong concept. I had to zoom in because it's so small. I want to do like a full body, and so the kid is like running like they're late to school. And then under their arm, they're holding the frog. They're taking the frog with them to school. I don't know. This is like like a like a storybook. It's <laughs> gotta get to class. They're done. 
Let me hold them up and I'll zoom in a little bit and we can take a little browse of the different images. So let's see, let's get it nice and zoomed in. We have the first image, which is the first image of kid and frog, in which the kid is leaning down to, to first pick up the frog. And then we have the second image in which the, the kid is sitting like a frog. The frog is sitting in there. The frog has taught the kid how to sit like a frog. And then the third image, which I'm going to need to zoom in all the way for, this way, which is something I like to call kid and frog are running late for school. So there they are. They're running. Kid has the frog under their arm and they're running. They're gonna be late for school. <laughs> you gotta go, but of course, can't leave Frog behind because they're now they're close friends. If you'd like to use this idea in a children's book, um, let me know. That was oh my gosh, let me scoot that back. Oops, drawing from last week. That was this is wholesome. This is the kind of content that I started a YouTube channel for. I'm really I'm I'm such a big fan because I think it's a really it's a really cute idea. And I think it's like, it's simple. I kept the same sort of design for all three images. I think this is what the, the Scribble Art Challenge is all about. So let me revisit. I'll show you the, the scribbles again. I'm gonna label them. So this one was the like check marky line thing. This one was this like L thing. And this one was, there's a line here. There's a line there. There's a wibbly line there. And a wibbly line there. And so then I, turned it into the body of running kid and frog from that. I hope you guys liked this. I liked this. It was a little more like casual. Like, it didn't take like two hours, but it made me very happy. And I'm very happy this will be in my sketchbook for the rest of forever because I want to be able to look back on it and possibly draw more or do more with this concept. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, also let me know if you have any ideas for, for future videos. I do have the video camera now, so I can draw things now that are small. So I might do some more like small drawings. I had the the like drawing, how tiny can I draw, and that I did last time. But like this sort of thing, this is really small, and it's something that my like phone probably wouldn't be able to see. So if you have more ideas for drawings, or especially for small drawings, let me know. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you also are a kid with a frog or you want to be a kid with a frog. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!